The exquisite porcelain figurines are the works of a man named Chen Zhongming. The 作品呢，就像自己的小孩一样，因为自己的心血做出来的。Chen Zhongming's figurine sculptors, with their lively and diverse styles, are acclaimed as some of the finest examples of modern Chinese porcelain art. Chen Zhongming was born in 1936 in the city of Chaozhou in Guangdong Province. In 1959, he graduated from Jingdezhen Porcelain College in Jiangxi. In the course of his career since then, he has been awarded the titles of Master of Arts and Crafts and Master of Porcelain Art. 一般来说呢，陶瓷雕塑都有它的继承性，像好像这样比较直，你感觉要扭一下。头什么扭一下，它就生动一点。这个工具是自己做的，这个刀也是自己是，它可以可以切。像这一种，恐怕跟着我几四十多年。The series of figurines are based on characters in the classic novel *A Dream of Red Mansions*. They are called the Twelve Ladies of Jinling. The series is considered a masterpiece of 20th century Chinese porcelain art. Critics say the figures are an example of fresh blood being infused into a traditional subject of Chinese arts and crafts, the beautiful lady. Four figures are very difficult because the sculptor is afraid of the mixing. 单独一个比较容易，一组合你要统一，要有变化。In producing the series of twelve ladies, Chen Zhongming was attempting to reveal the natural beauty of porcelain by using less coloring. So he concentrated on the emotional description of the figurines, especially their eyes, which differ distinctly from one character to another. Chen Zhongming's superb technique in depicting details and official expressions of the twelve figurines are particularly admired. The series, which he completed in 1985, won him several top awards, both domestic and international. It also established Chen's leading position in a field of contemporary Lingnan-style porcelain, with its origins in the Zhujiang River area of southern China. 我觉得陶瓷啊，陶瓷艺术啊，像跳高一样，跳到一定程度是慢慢来，不下一句一下子再跳很高了，所以呢，就慢慢积累，慢慢增加修养。陈柱明 is in his early seventies. He started to learn the art of porcelain sculpting when he was twelve. He comes from the heartland of Lingnan-style porcelain making, and went to study the Jiangxi style at Jingdezhen Porcelain College when he was 20. As a result, the two distinctive styles are merged in his creations. In 1972, when politics dominated the arts in China, Chen Zhongming defied the adversity and created his first study of a beautiful woman, which he called the flute player. The flute player brings together the exquisite musical style of the local Chaozhou opera and the coloring techniques of northern-style ivory carving. The innovative porcelain figurine attracted widespread interest as an exceptional work of art and a sign of the revival of the disappearing traditional subject of the beautiful woman in Chinese art. Then I came to Guangdong省, 
While most Chinese artists were focusing on politics-related subjects in the 1970s, Chen Zhongming turned his attention to more traditional subjects. By the 1980s, when classic themes and styles were fashionable again, Chen Zhongming was already taking art to a new level with his innovative masterpiece, The Twelve Ladies of Jinling. The figurine, the embroiderer, was created by Chen Zhongming in late 1990s. It marks the beginning of the third phase of his professional career, in which he concentrated on modern images. The embroiderer has also been awarded a number of prizes at national exhibitions. Surprisingly, though, Chen Zhongming never turned up to receive any of the awards. The embroiderer was, in fact, the last piece he sent to an exhibition before his retirement. Uh, 探索自己的探索<笑>